Now we're going to be demonstrating the modified clinical test of sensory interaction on balance or the modified cat sib on the balance manager system with the five foot force plate here. And Liz is gonna help us out. She's a 67 year old uh, lady who has a right total knee arthroplasty and a left knee, in her left knee she has a little bit of arthritis. So she has some difficulty with her balance, she's telling me. All right, so we are going to, we are in the uh, static force plate, activity-based assessment menu, and I'm clicking on modified cat sib. Click on continue, and we are gonna get her set up on the force plate. So climb up here, put the arch of your feet over those circles. Great. All right, I'm gonna roll up your pant legs just a little bit. I need to see your ankle a little bit here to set it up properly. Put that middle ankle bone along that black line and the lab outside of your ankle on the M line. So scoot this foot out a little bit and scoot it forward just a little bit, okay? Same thing here, move it out and toes look pretty good. Does that feel pretty comfortable to you? All right. This test has four conditions to it. Two of those test conditions are gonna be on this hard, firm force plate, and two are gonna be on a piece of foam, which makes it a little harder and unsteady for you to balance, a little more unsteadiness. Um, for the first, um, in each condition, on the firm condition, you're gonna do some of the trials with your eyes open and some with your eyes closed, and the same thing on the foam. So under those four conditions, you get three tries of each one. All right, okay. so I'll tell you what's gonna happen all, uh, each step of the way. Each little trial is only 10 seconds long. Okay, so stand really steady, you look good, arms relaxed at your sides, eyes are open, and stand steady for about 10 seconds as a little timer bar, and that'll tell you when, you, when you're finished. Good, okay, you get two more just like that. This is an easy one for you. Really steady. Good. One more just like that. Okay, this is an easy condition. It allows our patients to balance with vision, vestibular, and somatosensory information available for balance. And it gives us a baseline for the other three tests. All right, for the next condition, you can do the exact same thing with your eyes closed. All right, so I'll tell you when to close your eyes and when it's okay to open them up again. Okay, get ready, close your eyes, and testing. Open, okay. Two more just like that. Close your eyes, testing. Open, and one more try. Close your eyes and testing. Great, okay, so you can step off of the force plate now. Come on back here. I'm gonna put a piece of foam up here. And as you can see, the, the um, surface of this looks just like it did on the hard force plate. So you're going to climb up here and put the arch of your feet over those circles. Good. Great. And now I'm going to hold on to you a little bit, but we're going to move your feet to make sure they're in the right position. You actually got them on there. That one looks really good. This one comes back just a little bit. Great. And step down. Very good. Can you balance there? Mm -hmm. You're in a good spot. All right, eyes are open, and you're going to stand there for 10 seconds, really steady, starting now. Great. You okay? Mm -hmm. And two more just like that. Now. Great. And one more try. Testing now. Mm -hmm. 
Very nice. Okay, I'm going to give you a little stability here while I talk. In that condition where we have her standing on the foam, she actually can't use her somatosensory input very well, so the feeling from her feet and her ankles and proprioceptors, and it really forces her to rely on vision. Even though the vestibular system is still working really hard here, she has to rely on her vision really strongly for balance. Now we're going to do the same thing but with the eyes closed. All right, so I'll tell you when to close them and when it's okay to open them up again. Get ready and close your eyes. Testing. Great, open. All right, same thing again. Close your eyes and testing. Nice, open. And one more time. Eyes closed, testing. Nice job. Okay, step down to the front or the back. Yeah. Great, nice job, Liz. Thank you. All right, in that last condition, when she is standing on the foam, with her eyes closed, we eliminate vision, we disadvantage the use of somatosensory information for balance, and the only reliable sense she has is her vestibular system. So that gives me a good idea that her ability to use vestibular cues for balance is intact. Thank you.